Greetings, my friends. Happy Tuesday to all of you. Lawmakers are disagreeing on several relief provisions of President Biden's Build Back Better package. Senators Joe Manchin and Chris Sinema are both being urged to come to an agreement as soon as possible. Other Democrats are now pushing to use the budget reconciliation process once again. Dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. I will also be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. To enter the giveaways, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Friends, remember that the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. Today, a top aide to Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders called Senate Democrat Joe Manchin a phony after the West Virginia senator called for action to lower prescription prices. Warren Gunnels, Senator Sanders' staff director for the Senate Budget Committee, tweeted that Joe Manchin's call for prescription pricing action was empty given that the senator opposed President Biden's Build Back Better package, which included measures to lower prescription prices. In a Twitter post, Senator Sanders' aide wrote, The reason we failed to keep our promises to seniors is because Senator Joe Manchin sabotaged the Build Back Better Act and refuses to end the filibuster. In Joe Manchin's world, Protecting the filibuster is more important than protecting seniors. Warren Gunnels was responding to a tweet from Joe Manchin after the senator met with American Rescue Plan, West Virginia branch. At the time, Senator Manchin told reporters, by allowing Medicare to negotiate prescription prices, capping the cost of insulin at $35 per month, and allowing the importation of prescriptions from Canada, we can lower prescription prices in America. We must take action and keep the promises we've made to our seniors. Senator Manchin has long supported action to lower prescription prices, but it remains to be seen if he can reach a deal with Democratic leaders on a broader package that would include the pricing reforms. Because of the Republican opposition, any measure must use a reconciliation process to bypass a GOP filibuster in the Senate. Action to allow Medicare to negotiate lower prescription prices is a top priority for vulnerable Democrats ahead of the midterm elections. And getting action on that front is a reason that some Democrats still hold out hope that some legislation will be able to pass this year. Senate Democrat Kristen Sinema, another key moderate swing vote, has been the greater question mark on sweeping prescription pricing action though she did reach a deal with Democratic leaders in the fall to allow for Medicare to negotiate lower prices for a limited subset of prescriptions. While speaking at an American Rescue Plan event this week, Senator Joe Manchin gave some hope to Democrats who are eager for a deal. Manchin said, We're negotiating on a lot of things right now, and we're going to see to make sure that this is the highest thing on the order to get done. So friends, do you think that Democrats will be able to finally reach a deal this month? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Taxpayers this year have plenty of worries about their tax refunds, including fears they might receive a smaller check than usual. The tax agency recently said that the average refund is about $2,300. Last year, the average refund was about $2,800. According to experts, a typical tax refund could change and even grow as the season progresses. So far, the IRS received 169 million individual returns and has issued 129 million tax refunds. And this is according to the agency's data. A tax refund is often a family's biggest check of the year. With people using the money to pay down debt, to bolster their savings, or to cover everyday expenses. But consumers are expressing anxiety about the refunds this year amid a backdrop of rising inflation and crisis-era tax code changes that may impact the size of their checks. For instance, the Enhanced Child Tax Credit expanded the amount that parents received, but half of the money was sent in monthly payments during 2021. The remaining half, which is either $1,500 for older children or $1,800 for younger kids, were claimed on this year's tax returns. 
Data is less than the $2,000 that families claimed on their returns in prior years for the child tax credit, which could mean a smaller refund this year. But friends, it is important to remember that most Americans should get their refunds within 21 days of filing. So please be sure to track your refund if you have not received it as of yet. Women from Connecticut seek recognition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To, uh, I seek to unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks and address the House for one minute. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, more than 900,000 people in the United States have lost their lives due to COVID. Of those more than 900,000, 660,000 people over age 65 have been lost because of COVID. This is the same population uh, that is not only worried and concerned about COVID, but they are the ones on fixed income. They are the ones that rely on Social Security. More than 5 million of our fellow Americans get a below poverty level check from Social Security after having paid in all their lives to the number one insurance program in the country, the number one anti-poverty program for the elderly, and the number one anti-poverty program for children. Help is on the way. Social Security 2100, a sacred trust as the president has called it, is a bill that will uplift and raise people out of the depths of poverty and provide them with the sustenance they need in their daily lives, as Roosevelt intended. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Gentleman yields back. Uh, for Friends, the key word for this video is Eiffel Tower. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Eiffel Tower and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And friends, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday.